So hello everyone. How many of us remember about our scraps? How we took them from scraps and made them into crumbs by sewing them on a strip of material, which is a scrap material. And there's my um, stash. And we took those scraps and we made them into crumbs and we made the crumbs even bigger according to the size that you need and you see me here sewing my crumbs making them bigger and um, I'm doing a lemon peel block and I'm, I'm I made a template that I'm carefully cutting out with the rotary cutter I have a lot of uh, materials stacked on top of each other to take to make more than one peel at a time but I just say that you really please be very careful because it's it's that blade is very sharp and here are my um, lemon peels made from the crumbs as you can see the different types of um, crumbs we got in we got little uh, splashes of yellow and purple brown we've got some stripes green and white stripes in there which will make for an interesting lemon peel block and so I'm sh I'm showing you this is what we're going to do we're going to lay them on a background which is which has our background batting and backing and um we're going to sew it down all together quilting and sewing the blocks the lemon peels all at once but first we're going to work on our center portion and this is a piece of um satin and it is it has um lining on the back it's a scrap that i had used before and i'm going to attempt to cut out several circles at once and it's pretty easy because you can as you cut the circle out you can turn your fabric as you're cutting and that two by two square really helps you um to figure out you know to make it circular and if it's not it's okay we're not really worried about all that because this is a scrappy quilt and now I have strips of my batting backing and um, background material I just cut um, 8 by 8 inch blocks right and this is what we're going to um, mark it with chalk and we're gonna lay out our lemon peels and as you can see in the here I have laid mine out and so I, the first try I tried to do a one fourth inch stitch around each lemon peel it looked okay at the beginning but I I, I sort of thought about the different um, crumbs that we have and, ha and it has um, a lot of seams and I thought that maybe this way would not stand up in the wash because I had a lot of frame and you know you have a lot of different um, you know seam allowances that are cut off in different parts because we're dealing with crumbs and um, so I thought it would not be safe here I am attempting to put the circle on and I decided to go with the blind hem stitch for the um, inner circular part and I'm stitching around and as you can see I did change machines this is my baby lock which is an older model of an Elegante 2 and I like it because it has a um, foot pedal It'll um, your foot will go up and down as you put your foot on and off the pedal so it helps to pivot you have the needle down it's a pretty it's I don't know why I decided <laughs> at all to use my older machine I guess because it was smaller but here I am using my newer uh, machine and um, I'm trying to get a more of a close-up but this is the result from that block as you can see I did the blanket stitch the back looks really good and I had tried to use a square before and I sort of like the circular one more and that's pretty much what I went by. I did not throw those ones away. They are in the quilt. Yes. 
and so this is the other way which is the blind hem stitch this is the way that I decided to do all the blocks and it's very important at the end of this orange peel you really want to take a couple of um, blind hem stitches in the point so that point can stay nice and crisp and lay flat and um, that's what I did so we're gonna go around all of the lemon peels on this block and um, I have a 1.5 stitch length and my width is a 5.0 and I'm using the pencil so that I won't get any tucks or puckers to keep it flat down and I'm gonna go around each block and get it done and so as you can see it's all all um, blind hem stitch I'm putting in the inner circle in the middle right now and it's also blind hem stitch these are my scraps of um, satin material that it's lined with um, lining so it's it's sort of it's a little bit stable I just want to let you know that I did not use any steam a seam or any glue or anything is this is just material that is sold on to material yes and we're going to go around the circle with the blind hem stitch and can't wait to see the results I think all of the blocks are gorgeous I love the different crumbs of color isn't that beautiful isn't that gorgeous all scraps um, I believe I did run out of, out of black material but I use most of my scraps the end them um, the batting is a lot of scraps sewn together and so here is the block um, when it's finished now um, yeah these are the blocks that are blind hem stitched they look really nice and not all of them are even and I think even I believe that that makes it more interesting and so stay tuned because we're gonna work on our vines and leaves this is uh, the other block that's in our in the quilt that I'm making so as you can see it's sort of on point and we're gonna sew them diagonally so so this is a picture of our quilt block a portion of it where we have the vines and the uh, lemon peels together so stay tuned for part two as we sew these together um, thank you for watching please like share and subscribe happy quilting bye bye